Well, urology is a vast field. We treat more than 30% of all surgical disorders. Uh, we, are, we treat men, women, children suffering from mm -hmm. urinary trouble, as well as men with sexual disorders. Um, we treat uh, cancers. We treat uh, male and females with kidney stones, um, pain in the pelvis. We treat males with infertility. We treat children with wide range of urological issues. Uh, we see different types of diseases every day, and we are very successful in treating vast majority of them. Well, uh, the field of urology is uh, known to be a pioneer in laparoscopic surgery, in uh, advancing medical devices that other specialties also benefit from. About a decade and a half ago, we have become the pioneers of robotic surgery, where we're now able to offer surgery for cancers of the urinary tract, including prostate cancer, kidney cancer, bladder cancer, adrenal cancer, as well as other urological reconstruction surgery and pelvic prolapse in women with a very elegant, minimally invasive fashion where we can allow the patient to recover faster with less blood loss and go home sooner and be able to return to normal activities within a reasonable amount of time. Well, Vibrect is a uh, handheld medical device, uh, FDA approved for uh, stimulating the nerves on the surface of the penis to activate sexual reflexes that are responsible for erection and ejaculation. This is based on a technology that has been advanced for the past three decades in spinal cord injured men. Uh, Vibrect and Vibrect X3 are devices that have helped men suffering from spinal cord uh, injury that cannot have children due to lack of ejaculation and also men after prostate surgery who need extra stimulation to provoke nerves that are injured after prostate surgery. Um, the device is a non-invasive method to stimulate the nerves on the surface of the penis within five to seven minutes to help provoke sexual reflexes. Well, I've always been uh, fascinated with advancing a field, uh, including urology. Um, since many uh, years ago when I finished residency, I was uh, very uh, deeply um, involved in helping men after prostate cancer surgery recover sexual and urinary function. Therefore, I, I helped develop uh, medical products that help with enhancing recovery of function, including helping thousands of men with spinal cord injury to be able to have children. So I am involved in a lot of research projects currently at several centers, including sexual dysfunction, Peyronie's disease, and uh, other modalities. In general, uh, sexual disorders uh, can range from mild to moderate to severe. It is very important to talk to your physician openly about your condition. Uh, make sure that you try to reduce as much as possible uh, risk factors that, that worsen your sexual uh, function, including smoking, heavy drinking, depression, anxiety. Try to reduce any anxiety provoking uh, uh, stressors in your life. Uh, eat well, lose weight, exercise. These are the most important things to improve sexual health, including erectile function. Then there, at, we have developed a, a clinic here called Capital Men's Health, where we sit down with the patients, we find their story, and try to help in every step of the way to improve their sexual function, whether it's male or female disorders, including erectile function, Peyronie's disease, premature ejaculation, or any other condition. We have a state-of-the-art facility where we can offer penile ultrasound, um, other types of techniques, as well as um, connecting them with the right medications at the best prices. We also offer prosthetic surgery. Um, I uh, offer uh, penile implants for men who have more severe erectile dysfunction.
My treatment philosophy is, first of all, allow the patient to tell their story. Many of the, many of the field, us in the field of medicine have stopped listening to patients. We just order a bunch of labs and CAT scans, and we expect to find the answers in imaging. I believe the patient, if you let them talk to you for several minutes, you can get vast majority of the answers that they, you need. Um, I always try to let the patient improve their quality of life by uh, preventing risk factors that can be reduced as much as possible, improve and enhance their own body's ability to recover function, as well as giving some non-invasive aid as much as possible to allow their body to heal themselves. The training for urology is approximately 15 to 20 years, and I don't regret a minute of it. I love seeing patients. I love to smile, to see their smile in their faces. I uh, look forward to seeing them improve their pain, uh, their suffering, and getting back to normal life. And there's no, not, no more pleasure than seeing my patients being happy.